In 2014, excavations took place between Maxwell Place and Goosecroft Road in Stirling to make way for a new block of flats. It was the area where a Dominican priory once stood, dating back centuries, and within days, a skeleton was discovered. The human remains were found to date from around the time of the Scottish Wars of Independence, in the 13th and 14th centuries. The Priory is known to have existed from 1233 for more than 300 years until the beginning of the Reformation in 1559. It was dedicated to St Lawrence or possibly St Kentigern and was founded by Alexander II. It belonged to a small number of black friars who depended on local charity to survive. They were prominent in local society and people would have at least known the main friar, but following the Reformation, their lands were sold to Alexander Erskine of Cang Noir. Although Mary Queen of Scots granted the revenue of the borough priorities to the local authorities, on 15th April 1567, it wasn't until 1652 that the former Priory's revenues came into the hands of the Stirling authorities. According to a field survey of 1858, it had been situated on the east side of Murray Place and Maxwell Place, and over the years, a good number of bones were discovered on what became the Bank of Scotland's garden ground. This had been the site of the Saracen's Head Inn, and when it was being demolished for the new bank to be constructed, bones were found. This was the burial ground of the Priory. It's also known that in 1419, an impostor claiming to be Richard II of England, known by the nickname Mamet King, was also buried here. Murdoch Stuart, Duke of Albany, and two of his sons, along with the Earl of Lennox, who were all beheaded at Stirling on orders from James I in 1425, were buried by the altar of the church. The skeleton was that of a young man, aged around 25 or 30 years old, thought to have been a friar, dating from the late 13th century, to the early 14th century. Archaeological radiocarbon dating placed him alive at between 1271 and 1320, and that would mean he lived during a very significant period of Scottish history. He was alive at the time of John Balliol, William Wallace, Robert Bruce, Edward I and Edward II. He would have seen the Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297, the Battle of Falkirk and the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. The Earl of Surrey, head of the English contingent at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, asked two Blackfriars to try and come to a peace agreement with Wallace shortly before the battle, but Wallace refused. In 1298, following the Battle of Falkirk, Edward I, or Edward Longshanks as he was known in Scotland, is known to have stayed at the Priory to recover from wounds he sustained following the battle when he was trampled by his horse. He is also believed to have stayed there in 1304 during one of the sieges of Stirling Castle. Robert Bruce also stayed there following Bannockburn. When Wallace burned Stirling in 1298, he never touched the Priory, but perhaps its stone construction, rather than the wood of the houses in the town, saved it. The friar whose remains were found would have been witness to this. The man had been placed with his lower arms towards his pelvis, 
and with no remains of a coffin found, it's believed he was buried in a shroud. In front of his pelvis, a bronze belt buckle was also found, and this gave more weight to the theory that he was in fact a friar, rather than an ordinary resident of Stirling, as black friars wore a belt buckle rather than rope to fasten their white tunics. The orientation of the body and his positioning also correlated with other ecclesiastical skeletons found elsewhere in the country. However, whether he was the head of the priory or a novice is unknown. Archaeologists found a substantial medieval stone boundary wall at the site, although much of the priory has been lost due to the robbing of stone for construction elsewhere, and some of it had been built over. They also discovered the remains of a lavatorium, a communal washing area or kitchen. Shards of pottery were also found from jugs and cooking vessels. Along with the skeleton, it's one of the most significant finds outside the walls of Stirling Castle to date. A further skeleton was discovered in Murray Place during gasworks to plug a redundant gas pipe on Saturday 9th November 2019. A few days later, more human bones were found, and in all, four people had been buried there. These two were linked to the Dominican Priory as it ran from Friar Street to roughly the same spot where the new flats were to be built. The bodies that had not been disturbed were left where they'd been buried. As for the friar, a requiem mass was held on Saturday 29th February 2020 at St Mary's Catholic Church in Stirling by the Brothers of the Dominican Order, and his remains were reburied in the Snowdon Cemetery beneath Stirling Castle. A civic reception was held in the toll booth following his committal. His headstone reads, Here lies a man of Christian faith, buried in Stirling's Dominican Priory around the time of Scotland's Wars of Independence. Reinterred here in 2020 at the request of Stirling's Provost and Baileys. This stone was originally quarried for the Wallace Monument and discarded on Abbey Craig, but repurposed as a friar's headstone. Who knows who or what else is buried under the city, waiting to be discovered? If you enjoyed this episode of Scotland's History, please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching.